walk me down to the city to a place where we can roam where our hearts can be unbroken then you can take me back home then you can take me back home basically uh, spent a lot of my 20s working, doing a lot of the same things that um, I felt that I should have been doing at that stage in my life. Um, and uh, at some point, um, I became every Asian parent's worst nightmare by uh, uh, foregoing the opportunity to do an MD, MBA, a med school, business school. Um, I realized that you know, no amount of letters after my name, no amount of money in the bank would fulfill me in the way that I feel uh, when I can express, uh, especially through my writing, uh, through my uh, music and singing. of my music are based around love, uh, suffering, um, and, and that's such a universal thing because everybody experiences those aspects but in different ways. Um, and so just opening up that dialogue is very important. I've been chasing rainbows, but they were passing on through. It's 11, 11 and I'm wishing For me, it's just a way to connect. I think the, the common denominator seems to be uh, just community, right? Connecting with different individuals all over the world. And when I get opportunities to, to share and play my music, to share my life story, uh, then I'm just all in on that and um, try to be as authentic as I can be um, and, uh, and just play and sing my heart out. When I'm scared and broken, you, you can heal my soul. Life experiences obviously play a big role into who I am, not just as an artist, but as a, as a human being. Um, you know, I, I was ill uh, twice in my life. I was uh, diagnosed the first time with a terminal illness at age 17 um, and was given two months to live, uh, did an experimental chemotherapy, and then uh, five years later, while I was studying pre-med at Johns Hopkins University, uh, I ended up relapsing. Um, realizing that life is short, um, I wanted to just live out each day intentionally, um, live outwardly, and there was no better way than to, to find a way to create, um, create words, create lyrics, create music, and uh, share it with the world. It's the way I feel for you that I can't explain. Won't you make my wishes true? I was in Korea in 2016, and uh, in one of the venues, I remember at the end of my set, I ended up uh, doing a cover of a song. Love is touching, getting drunk and dreaming. Staying up and waking up with you. If this is all we're living for, why are we doing it, doing it, doing it anymore? I used to recognize myself as 
And by the end of the, the song, I just had thrown my soul into it. And I was like, I had tears in my eyes. And, and then I opened my eyes and I see that the majority of the room is like weeping. And, and I think that was a powerful moment because like for a lot of them in the room, they probably don't even know what the lyrics per se were about. And that really kind of put into my mind this, this realization of, of just how powerful music was. You are a melody I can hold in my hand. I am the ocean and you are the sand. Um, I think as somebody that uh, went through my illness experience, um, I just felt like there was something there that uh, directed me into this path where I was like, hey, you know, I think as somebody that was healed, I want to be able to heal. The intention isn't necessarily to like go into it saying, I'm gonna create a song that will heal. But I think by creating a song that is authentically addressing certain elements of the human condition, um, it has provided healing. If I can create songs that have a redemptive element, uh, a message of hope, then I think my job is uh, going to be uh, complete. Support for this program made possible by the Kadoski Foundation.